All right, so hopefully this gets you guys going in the right direction as far as a solution to the project. So let's say you have this uh, weird looking equation. Now this is not the solution, this is not the answer, this is just an example. So the idea is that you have within this sine function, you have other functions. So you have alpha squared and beta squared, and they're defined as weird looking trig functions. So what you want to do is, uh, within GeoGebra, is define these functions. So then that way you can, uh, you can reference them. So you could input uh, alpha squared, as I did, as f of x. So alpha squared is defined as f of x. And then beta squared is defined as g of x. And let me, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. But I've gone ahead and defined these uh, within the, the graph, within the, the sketch. Because then what, once you have them defined, you could come up with a, uh, a new equation that references f of x and g of x. So when I come up with my new equation, I could reference it as the sine of f of x, which is alpha squared, plus g of x, which is uh, beta squared. And then I could add whatever I need to add at the very end. So then I could be able to graph this and this would be the graph of my my sine function, which is what I want would want to be looking at. Okay, so the idea is that you define the idea is you you define the functions within the sketch, and then you you reference them in another function once you have already these defined on a GeoGebra. So hopefully that gets you guys going in the right direction, and it makes the project somewhat easier and I hope you guys are all having a good spring break.